Hello and welcome back. My name is Andre. And I'm Dominika. And we're back again with another reaction to Ryan Adams with If You Ever Love a Woman. <laughs> Where are you looking? I was looking for the <laughs> for the title, but it disappeared. <laughs> anyway, Bobaloo, this one is from you. Thank you so so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending us such a romantic songs. I've got a feeling that you have a lovely guy. Um and you like this kind of stuff. A little bit like you, isn't it? Yes. Yes, you like love songs. Uh, it's not that I don't enjoy them, but uh, it's definitely up your street. That's correct. You, you're you such a romantic. But anyway, so thank you so, so much for another song. Thank this you. one we actually know, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be uh, one of these songs that you haven't listened for a very, very nice long time. Nice to sit down and really listen and properly. Yes, exactly. With the, your better half. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You make me blush. <laughs> Let's go. To really love a woman, to understand her, you gotta know her deep inside. Hear every thought, see every dream, and give her wings when she wants to fly. And when you find yourself lying helpless in her arms, you know you really love a woman. When you love a woman, you tell her that she's really wanted. When you love a woman, you tell her. Crikey, you know what? Well, I remember it brings back so many memories, uh, uh, meaning from the youth when I was the younger. And I remember I was fascinated by the video, but I think everybody were right. It was on MTV, I remember so much, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I confess something, I don't think I really enjoyed that much back in the days. I was when I think I was not really pay attention watching <laughs> when I would skip the channel, or I don't know. I didn't really touch me when I was kind okay. of back in the days. What about now then? I, I kind of ha have a different meaning now what he's saying. <laughs> I get it. Probably I was a bit too young to... Immature, you would say. Yeah, <laughs> I was... Yeah, yeah. No, but you know what? He describes so beautiful everything. I mean... It does. And in a very simple way, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, that that's that's another thing I wanted to say. You know, was, when I was younger, I just remember that song being there and play, like you say, played on the TV quite a lot. And um, all the girls, I think, were fascinated by the video. Not only Johnny Depp there, but Brian Adams as well. And you know, you were looking all this beautiful uh, ladies there on the guitar. So it was visually had everything. Mm. But I I like you. I don't think I ever appreciated the lyrics mm. for it. It was more you were drawn by the visuals. 
And now I'm listening to the lyrics. Uh, and like I said, it's like, it brings back memories. Oh my God, I remember. I remember the times. I think Brian Adams was very popular uh, when I was growing up. It wasn't never my choice of um, of the mm -hmm. artist to listen, but I'm going to the school dances and it was always Brian Adams um, present with his with his songs. But I definitely enjoy listening to it with you. Um, I feel like he really, really know what I'm, what he, what he mean when he's saying in the song. I'm I'm pretty. Have sure. you ever watched the movie? Uh, I don't think so. I, I was, think I've ever watched the movie. I don't think so. Oh, another thing I want to say, back in the days, I was not really after this kind of song, like a sweet, like that, love, that much. I, what happened? I think something broke with me <laughs> later on in life. And um, I do appreciate... Fix. Fix or... Yeah. yeah. Broke. <laughs> I don't know. Something... Some, something yeah, happened. Something happened at one point in life. And... Uh, I don't know. I love them more than anything else. This kind it of is, songs, you know, it is funny because um, I, I I see in the comments people put it quite a lot. You know how they um, kind of rediscover a band with us through mm -hmm. our reactions and the band they were listening or they know for so many years when they were younger, and then some of the songs bring up memories exactly like like for me this one. But some of the songs, they say, oh, I never thought of that this way. And it's, it is like this a little bit when I listen to the song from when I knew the song from mm -hmm. when I was younger. When I listen to it right now, I kind of see it a little bit different. Like mm -hmm. I said, it is a bit nostalgia to go back to these times when you were young and careless. But then mm -hmm. the song itself, it's got a little bit uh, different feel. I know. And it, it's come to you different. Yeah, you appreciate uh, it. And another uh... thing probably for me was... <coughs> Excuse me. Back in the day, I didn't really understand the lyrics. Oh, for sure. It was just melodical and it yeah. was probably, it was too sweet or like that. Oh, I don't know. You, you just sound wise. It didn't click, yeah. Yeah, it didn't click. But now I can really go dive in the lyrics, what the, he's saying, what he means. Or, but back in the day, I would just take it like, or leave it in a way. That was kind of my take of music in, a, I don't know. But definitely, yeah. Can I, we go back I love listening with you. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I go back. I, I, like I don't know. Try to press I a little go bit. Back yeah. All right. Ready? Yep. You know what? I didn't even know the the connection because, like I say, it was on MTV. But I didn't know it's with flamenco, with this kind of Spanish right? vibe in it. I, really. I think that was my kind of first time when I regretted to be Polish and I wanted to be. 
when I was looking at these beautiful ladies. I was really upset that my mom never went abroad to, to some Latin countries and met uh, someone else than my father, which I love very much. No, no, but uh, uh, joke aside, I, I remember, oh my God, why am I not Spanish? Look yeah, at I'm going to tell to Leshe what you say. <laughs> Don't tell my papa. I think they know. At some point, they know. <laughs> but uh, I just, I always remember thinking, oh my God, that's so, the music sounds so beautifully. And then uh, the ladies look so, so beautiful. And everything was touching in that video. But you know what? Actually, now listening to the lyrics, uh, it's exactly what I was thinking when he was uh, keep repeating it, you know, mm -hmm. um, that line. It's exactly that's how it is with love. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. It just if you meet someone, and I'm not only talking from the pers men of men perspective, but from any perspective, woman as well. Mm -hmm. You meet someone, you either, either know or you don't know. You know, it cannot be. If you start to overthink things, it's, mm, mm -hmm. it's not the right time. I'm not ready for the uh, maybe it's working. Maybe not. Yeah, let's yeah, see yeah, what let's we see. go. Yeah, I don't. I don't feel it. Mm -hmm. But I like to live alone. But I like to do things separate. If you kind of do all of that, you, you that there is. There is no way that, it, that this is going to work as a um, as a true love. Um, if you put, I feel if you put conditions to love, then there is no, mm. you know, there is yeah. no kind of. I know it's, it's like working that. for some people in terms of relationship. You know that they put more like a. I even know the couple that it's more like a contract. Uh, they live together. They they respect each other. They they most probably love in a way. Uh, but I don't think it's that kind mm. of love where it's unconditional yeah. that you kind of doesn't matter. I know you mean. I like. even heard the kind of things like that. People not even sleeping in the same bed together. Mm. I mean, I mean, it's nothing wrong, I guess. But I, I, I feel like you make more the connection. You, you lose so much. You're not. I don't know. I guess there are yeah. types and types of love and. Don't get me wrong. I feel that in going with the age when you're together for so many years. My parents, for example, they don't sleep together mm -hmm. anymore. But it's because my mom is snoring. My papa says. And I snore is, too. Yeah, yeah. So but it might come the time. No, that. I'm gonna put a handcuff to me in bed. You're not gonna go anywhere. You know. Sometimes I, mean? I wish I, I feel like I want to put a pillow on your face, but I something stop. I bring me. you some. The snoring, and then I have a dog on the other side. The dog is snoring as well. It, it comes with the age, I think, the snoring and. Um, Especially in the morning, my my night is ruined. That's it. You know, about four or five o'clock, I'm done. You need some earplugs uh, if you yeah. complain. That's <laughs> for your birthday next hurting, year. <laughs> hurting my ears. <laughs> but what I want to say, um, you're kind of... You're so sweet. I don't know if that was a sweet thing to say that I want to put a pillow on your face. Well, I, but the, the feeling... I heard it before. I think uh, a lot of us suffering from um, husband or wife snoring like that. Although I must say, and I'm going to say something really embarrassing just to keep the balance that... You go to bed really late, do you? So mm. you sometimes stay at the computer, and I'm I'm early. Uh, She's like a chicken. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going to bed with chickens and getting up with the chickens. You're more like all oh, you're going. You're night nighttime person. I'm staying listening music. Yes, that's correct. But anyway, and sometimes in the morning. He shows me the recording on his phone, <laughs> me and the dog, and the sound I'm making, which I wasn't aware that I'm like making this kind of sound. So. So to keep the balance, uh, you see, not, uh, well, <laughs> you have to be fair, next time. Right? Don't throw the stone. <laughs> yeah, you have to be fair, but I don't keep you awake and you really do. And the problem is that sometimes we're having full on conversation. And then in the morning I talk to you well, when you finally wake up for a day and I, we talk about it and you say, I don't remember. I never said nothing. And I keep talking to you and you're responding to me. It's not the response. Just I let me want. alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me sleep for another anyway, five minutes. We're so sorry. Um, Thank you, Bobalu. Thank you so so much. That was pretty awesome. I must say, like I said, bring some memory and also um, new realization, which is always pretty good. That's right? true. Yeah. All right. Hope you enjoy your reaction and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Take care. Bye bye. Bye for now.